I'm so grateful for you and to be here. So I go general and I'm satisfied and I get the inspirations, I get the downloads for the books I'm writing, for the workshops I'm creating, the retreats I'm creating. And uh, where I go into resistance is in the how and then bringing it where down. you go into resistance is in the trying to figure out the effort or the action rather than letting the universe yield to you you're right there just consider this when you're in the receiving mode and an idea comes follow it just pay attention for just a little while what results come from action you took from obvious being under the influence of your source and what results come from the decisions you make from obviously not being under the influence of source just pay attention to that slight distinction and you'll have it because you're right on track everything's unfolding you're just trying too hard you're just you're, it's like it's like just trying to push the noodle a little bit you understand all the concepts you get law of attraction you understand who you are you know you're an extension of source energy you understand about the vortex in other words we can feel all this knowledge that is within you but you've just got this little tripping point that so many people have of just trying to make it happen too fast you're not patient enough with the vibrational version of it it's like okay Abraham we accept that there's a vortex and that all of our stuff's in it but how do we get the money out of the vortex and into the bank <laughs> that's sort of what you're feeling and we say be satisfied that it's in the vortex no I'm not satisfied that it's in the vortex I want it to come out of the vortex and into the bank well you can't get there from there you got to be satisfied that it's in the vortex you got to be glad you put it there you got to feel appreciation for the life that you lived that caused you to put it there you've got to acknowledge that it's there you've got to acknowledge that there is a process and that the process works and that everything is unfolding perfectly and that everything is right in order and that nothing has gone wrong and that things are always working out for you feel satisfaction that it's a vibrational reality that is becoming more and more and more because any moment that you are not satisfied because it hasn't come out of the vortex yet you slow it down and don't let it come out but every moment that you're satisfied that it exists in vibrational state then you're allowing it to morph into more where you can experience it fully you followed that didn't you so where I think where I get tripped up is I'm like well, what do I do with myself then because I'm a recovering doer like I used to, I used to, I actually have a tattoo on my chest that says create your own reality and it's backwards so I can see it in the mirror and I'm going to add to it, co-create your own reality because I've been relying on what well, I thought I was relying on my action or my effort. And now that I'm aware that I'm not relying on my action and my effort, I'm sometimes like, well, what do I do with myself? Wait a minute. Let's go back to the discussion we had a little bit ago. We're not trying to discourage you from action. We just want you to get satisfied and inspired in your action. And so when you say, what am I going to do with myself? That makes it sound like you don't plan on getting into the receiving mode where you get inspired to action. So when you say, what do I do with myself? We say, well, you're inspired and then follow the inspiration. And if you say, well, I'm still not doing anything. Then we say, then you're not getting in the receiving mode and you're not inspired to action. It's going to happen fast. Esther, she laughs because she gets herself tuned in and then all these great ideas come to her and then she sets them in motion and then off they go and just witnessing the results of them is way more than a full-time job she told someone the other day they said what are you doing she said I'm a pointer <laughs> what I'm a pointer what I just point at things that I want to come to me what yeah, just point at things I want to come to me and then they come and then I feel satisfaction as they come that's it oh no because the more of them that come the more I point and the more I point the more comes and the more that come the more satisfied I feel and every now and again I get out of whack and then I point myself to more satisfaction well Esther you seem like a pretty lazy girl yeah I don't pay any price at all I don't suffer I don't sacrifice I just point that way 
towards satisfaction. And so if you're a recovering doer, then you might be a recovering justifier of action in order to compensate or justify why good things are coming to you. And we do think it's a good idea that you get over that because if you're a doer, you just can't create very much through doing. But if you are a pointer and a feeler and an aligner and a harnesser of the energy that creates worlds and then a pointer, you're making big things happen in this world. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And so taking that and applying it to finances, I've noticed a pattern where I'll be in my vortex. Can you feel how she's locked into a thought that's not serving her? Yeah. Why are we talking about money instead of energy? Okay. Energy is everything. Okay. Energy turns into money. But when you're talking about it the way you are, you're talking about money that hasn't come into fruition because the energy hasn't turned it into fruition yet. You want to cash in your vibrational chips first. You do that through reaching for satisfaction. So let's get practical because these are really good questions. And it sounds like we're speaking conceptually and generally and maybe theory and laws. So you ask a question and we will give you a tangible, practical answer. Thank you. Oh, you want me to ask it right now? <laughs> okay, so I wrote my first book and I self-published it and then I had the inspiration for my second book. So I'm almost done writing it. And I decided, I pointed and said, I want a publisher to publish this book because it was too much effort. Or I got the clarity through... But feel how muddy all of that is. Okay. I want that because I don't want that, and I want right. that because I don't want... So you're pointing all over the place. Yes. If your pointer were a machine gun, everybody would be dead. <laughs> okay. So this is what I want. This is what I want help focusing on so that I am more clear on where I'm pointing my pointer. This game that we played here today about the satisfaction factor, you just want to point at what feels satisfying. So publisher feels satisfying until you think I can't get one or I haven't gotten one yet. Either turn that into something that feels more satisfying or point at other things that already are satisfying. You see, this is the thing that most people don't get. And once they get it, things start clicking into place. You don't have to feel satisfaction about the thing you're trying to accomplish. You just have to feel satisfaction about something. Because step one and step two and step three and step four and step five are all separate steps. Step one is where you ask. Step two is when it happens vibrationally. Step three is when you let it in. So you're not doing step one and step three at the same time. They're different steps. Let step one happen and now you focus on step three. And that's what we've talked about all day here today. Feeling satisfied. That's step three. Finding some reason to feel satisfied. And we got to say to you, to all of you, there are so many reasons to feel satisfied that we just want you to make the connection between the productivity of satisfaction. And that's such a, we love you so much, ridiculous thing that we're having to sell you on. Like, it really is a good thing that you feel good. <laughs> Feeling good really will bring good things to you. No, nope. I'm supposed to feel bad to get good things. And we say, how's that working out? Just try it our way, just a little while. Try to feel satisfied just a little bit. And don't try to justify your experience through hard work and action. Just be a pointer for a little while. Just start pointing. People say, what are you doing? Pointing. <laughs> what are you pointing at? Things I want. Well, good luck with that. Yeah, don't need luck. It works. <laughs> Universal forces. That's all I got to do. Point and like what I'm pointing at. That's it. Just point. Okay, and I have another question that's more general in terms of the desire and the future focus and being in the present moment and how to navigate between those. Can't pick one. That's like saying, I'm in my car, I'm driving down the road and all around me are other drivers, but I'm not gonna notice them. I'm gonna think of what's happening in the city of my destination. And then after the ambulance picks you up <laughs> and they give you drugs, all of your power is in the now. And so here's the answer to your question. If you want to think about the future, and it's a fun thing to think about, just acknowledge that you're doing it in the now. 
So in the now, point at things in your future that you want to live. And let it be not just tangible things. I want to be rich, not just that. That's good though. Choose that. Plenty of money, lots of freedom, lots of sense of satisfaction, a keen sense of who I am, a feeling of invincibility, a recognition that I have value, a strong sense of worthiness, an awareness that my inner being is working with me. I want to feel what my inner being feels about whatever I'm pointing at. I want to point in the direction of what my inner being is pointing at. I want to feel exhilaration about life. I want to wake up feeling eager. I want lots of satisfying things to move through my day. I want an awareness of satisfaction turning to more and more and more and more and more. I want to be consciously aware of when I feel good, the way law of attraction responds to that good feeling. I want to know for sure myself, the distinction between just feeling relief of letting go of some resistance and letting go of all of it and in being in satisfaction. And then I want to start acknowledging the momentum that ensues from being more and more often in a completely non-resistant state. I want to find moments in every day, 20 or 30 minutes if I can find them, early in the day if possible, to sit and quiet my mind completely. Because when I quiet my mind by focusing on something like the air conditioner or my own breathing in and out, that's a good one. As I focus upon things that don't require much concentration and I discover that sense of detachment in that absence of thought there will be absence of resistance in an absence of resistance there will be a rising of my vibration and in a rising of my vibration there'll be a connection with source and in a connection with source there will be satisfaction in this moment and when I come out of meditation all tuned in tapped in turned on and I have an impulse something that just seems like a good idea to go do it and I do it and then I see the immediate payoff for having done it now I'm really putting together the absence of resistance and the presence of consciousness flowing to me then I start to acknowledge and know for sure myself that my inner being is watching me knows where I am knows what I want and is pointing is pointing I just have to point in the direction that my inner being is pointing and pay attention to where my inner being is pointing and if I point in a direction that my inner being isn't pointing dun 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 no satisfaction but when I point in the direction that my inner being is pointing I feel some form of satisfaction all the way up to this feeling that wild horses could not keep me from it when you get in sync with your inner being who is adoring you when you get in sync with your inner being who has experienced the benefit of all that you've lived your past present and future become something that you can get your thoughts around right here and now just remember that your vortex is a vibrational reality that is real and that it is from manifested point of view it is your future but it doesn't feel like your future to your inner being it feels like your present so if you keep making it feel like future instead of feeling like present in other words do you see what we've talked about here today by caring about feeling satisfied you've made what's in your vortex present tense for you because yeah. I can feel it now satisfaction I can feel it right now can't deposit the checks in the bank but I can feel satisfaction did you get what we just said yeah. by looking for satisfaction and finding it you've turned your vortex into real-time present tense so now you're in sync with your inner being and now when your inner being and you point things happen and others who are watching you they think you're magic they think you have an advantage that they may or may not understand but if you have a chance just tell them you're a pointer you've discovered a way to get everything that you point at and that you're so sure that it's coming that you are sublimely patient in the unfolding